hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video we have a whole bunch of stuff to get done today we're going to start off this video with a grocery haul i just got back from going to grocery outlet and safeway got everything that we needed for the week i'm going to be doing some meal prep in this video and also uh, making some mini muffins for the kids i've got groceries i'm going to show you guys everything that i got and then we're going to get to work on meal prep i'm oh yeah so i'm doing meal prep um donnie and i've been trying to eat a little healthier for lunches and stuff and so this is going to make it a little easier to just grab stuff out of the fridge it's already prepped and warm it up um instead of like getting takeout for lunch or being like hmm what should we have so hopefully that will make things a little bit easier so i'm going to be cooking up some like rice and meats and vegetables and stuff today too so we're going to do all that together in this video but we're going to start off with a grocery haul in no particular order like normal i just unbox or unbagged everything and threw it out here on the counter so We've got some raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries, bananas. We have some chicken broth, onions, beef that's already cut into strips. This I'm gonna use for our meal prep. At Grocery Outlet, they had these large jars of the Rouse homemade marinara for like seven bucks. So I grabbed four of those because usually they're a whole lot more than that for those big sizes. And then I got three of these large things of diced tomatoes. I have a few in the cabinet already, but that's something that like I always grab because I use them for a lot of different things. Got two things of bread, so I'll throw one of these in the freezer. Got some bell peppers, carrots. Got, I love these like multicolored bags of carrots. There's like yellow, orange, and purple in there. Got some Brussels sprouts, zucchini, some diced chilies. We've got some ground turkey and some ground pork. This is gonna be for tacos. The kids love these Amy's cheese pizzas, so I grabbed three of those. I got some chicken breasts. Some of the, a lot of this stuff is gonna go in the freezer for meal prep like next week and stuff, but I just stocked up on it because Grocery Outlet has such good prices on stuff. And I got some enchilada sauce. I got this journal for myself. Got some fruit cups. I've been loving drinking tea like every single night and I drink the Yogi detox teas at night but I've been wanting to find a um, caffeine free like tea that I can drink during the day like iced um, and so this one is lemon mint and it sounded really good so I grabbed that I got three of these Amy's burritos I haven't got these in so long I used to eat these all the time for lunch got these Annie's shells and cheese for the kids this is super random. Hopefully my brother-in-law doesn't watch this video, but um, he loves like super hot stuff. So does my sister. Um, but I saw this ghost pepper salsa and I was like, I have to get that for Mitch. So grabbed that. I'm gonna give that to him for Christmas, part of his Christmas gift. We got some flour for those muffins. I think we have flour, but I grabbed some just in case because we are in the season of baking anyways and I needed some. But um, Grocery Outlet had this three pack of the Simply Heinz ketchup. I think it was like $8 for this three pack. So stick that in the pantry. Um, we've got our butter ball for Thanksgiving. I wanted to get my turkey early and just throw it in the deep freezer in the garage, just be safe with like supply chain stuff and like everything being short. I wanted to make sure we secured the butter ball. So we got that. I've got some rice cakes. Oh, my mom brought me also Halloween candy. Uh, my mom brought me some more of these American Dream nut butters and my stash is like taking over over here. But they're so good on rice cakes so got some more of those because I was out and then I got some tortillas for enchiladas oh and then over here too this we overflowed usually it's like just the island for my grocery haul but I had a lot more stuff because we're doing meal prep this week for lunches but I got the Mexican blend cheese two of those for enchiladas and then this Italian blend cheese got two of those because I'm going to do um the poor man's lasagna this week I did that in a video recently and shared it Got some skirt steaks for Philly cheese steaks. I got some butter, so I've got salted and unsalted. I needed different for different things. Got some granola bars, some Greek yogurt. We've got Washington raspberry and Oregon marionberry. Those are Donnie's favorites. And then got some brown rice, some mini chocolate chips for the kids' muffins, some regular chocolate chips 
for chocolate chip cookies or whatever, and then some couple sweet potatoes. So that is everything. I'm gonna get all this stuff put away. I've got all of the groceries put away I'm gonna get my fruit and put it into some bowls and then get some of my thieves of fruit and veggie wash and put that in there fill the bowls up with water and let those soak for a little while while my fruit is soaking I'm gonna wipe down the kitchen counter here where I had all those groceries out and then we're gonna go switch some laundry around So I'm pulling some clothes out of the dryer here and I always get comments about my dryer door opening two different ways. So I just wanted to tell you guys, yes, it does open either sideways or like this, like an oven. And it's so convenient to be able to open it multiple ways, but I do want to switch the dryer door to open the opposite direction than it does when you open it regularly. So that's on my to-do list. But as you guys saw, my laundry basket and my bathroom was overflowing. So I've got to get some of that put into the wash and then some of Donnie's jeans needed some stain treatment on there. So I'm just using the Grove um, stain treatment, uh, stain remover stuff from Grove Collaborative. It works really, really well and I like it a lot. Berkeley had been doing some painting here at the dining room table, so I'm just gonna wipe that down and then we're gonna head into the kitchen and get started working on baking some mini muffins. So for the mini muffins, I just am following the blueberry muffin recipe from Joanna Gaines cookbook. I think it's volume two that the blueberry muffin recipe is in. And I just followed it exactly like it is in that book, except for that recipe, um, you make like a streusel to go on top and we just didn't do that. I just followed the muffin recipe and then I have some mini muffin tins that I got from Amazon, they're like the silicone ones, and then you can just pop the muffins right out, super helpful. I'm also making some chocolate chip muffins today, and I followed the same recipe for the blueberry muffins. I just added chocolate chips instead of blueberries, and they turned out super well. So, Berkeley is helping me bake some muffins today. She was looking forward to this for a couple days. We were talking about making these, so it was fun to do together. The boys did not wanna have anything to do with baking the muffins, they just wanted to eat them. So, Berkeley and I are gonna get to work on baking our muffins.
blueberry muffins are done and now the chocolate chip muffins are in the oven so I am going to go ahead and get all my fruit put into my mason jars and into the fridge. My kids love the Little Bites muffins that you can buy at the grocery store so much and so the reason that I made these mini muffins was kind of to replace those and just do homemade Little Bites and they were definitely a hit. So I'm just taking these little snack sized bags and putting a few little muffins in each one and then I put these down in the kids snack drawer and they love these for a snack um, or for breakfast with some fruit so they were definitely a hit in our house and I will be making them weekly. All right, now we're gonna get started on some meal prep. So I'm going to chop up some zucchini, some Brussels sprouts, some carrots, some of these steak strips. I'm also gonna do some brown rice and some sweet potatoes. And I didn't do anything fancy. This was pretty much my first time doing any sort of like meal prep. We just wanted to try it out to see how it would work for our lunches. So we just had some healthy lunches to grab during the week. I only prepped for three days. Um, and it worked out really well. I just peeled the sweet potatoes and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I cut the Brussels sprouts in half. I cut the carrots into little slices. And I also cut the zucchini into bite-sized pieces. Now for the steak strips, I just did a little bit of olive oil with some Kinder's steak seasoning. And then for all the vegetables, I just did olive oil and a little bit of pink salt and pepper. And everything had such good flavor without doing a whole bunch of different stuff and it turned out really well um, so I'm just going to get everything chopped up and then I'm gonna take everything outside to the Blackstone Grill just cook everything out there so then I can divvy it up into our meal prep containers and then I was able to cook everything at the same time and I got the brown rice going before I started chopping everything up so then that was just sitting there ready to put into Donnie's little containers and then I just did the sweet potato and the vegetables and the steak in mine I ended up mixing all of the vegetables and the sweet potatoes together on the grill and all the flavors together were so good you guys so I'm just dishing them into our meal prep containers I got these off of Amazon and Donnie's has rice and then that mixture and then you guys can see mine here with just the vegetables the sweet potatoes and the steak and it was all so good I'm definitely gonna be doing this again but I felt like I cooked so much food and it didn't end up being that much like for each person so next time I'm gonna do a little bit more but it turned out really good so that's gonna 
going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching it. I appreciate you guys so much. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!